Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I'm Leanne and this is Baby Bell. On this channel, we share everything mum and baby related and today we're going to take you through how we set up everything for Baby Bell's first birthday party. So we actually had a last minute change of plan of what we were gonna do for the party, which wasn't ideal. I wasn't particularly happy with that. It just meant that everything had to be pulled together as quickly as possible. So the first thing I did, and if you've watched any of our other videos, this will be no surprise to you, got a spreadsheet and a list and listed out everything that I was going to need. So from the hall and the soft play all the way through down to cake knife, cake stand, cups, bin bags, everything that we needed is on the list. I then listed out all of the food that we were going to need and I have got a clip coming up later on in the video to show you exactly what we've got. Are you trying to find the microphone? Are you a bit strange? And I also listed out everything that was gonna to need to be done on the day and who was gonna do it because we had some help from family so we had a list of everything there. First thing I did was create this one picture for Baby Bell, it says celebrating your first year and it's just got a few pictures of her in the shape of one and I used Canva to create that. Next thing I did was make up this birthday banner. So this is just pictures of one to 12 months on a sparkly background and then it just gets hung up on the ribbon. It came with like little and sticky things to do it but I actually ended up using double-sided tape because I wanted it to stay on as well as possible because I made this up in advance. really good and it's just so strange to look back at pictures of baby bell from a month old and then at 12 months old <laughs> this here is everything that we've got decoration wise so as you can see we've got the balloon arch pack we've got extra balloons we've got metallic balloons If you are going to make your own balloon arch the balloon pump is essential like it saved us so much time and in there it had an extra few bits the next thing we did was make up the other banners that we've got. So this thing here, I thought it looked really, really cute and you actually pretty much have to make it up from scratch. So it was all folding up these little tassel things and twisting them into their correct shape, which was fun. We then had to make up the other banners. So I didn't realize this, but when you buy banners from Amazon or Asda, they are just, they come in bits and you have to put them together yourself, which is, Great fun. Then we made up the one boxes. So we actually used the one boxes for her first birthday shoot. And then we just put fresh balloons in for the birthday party and the balloon, the boxes are from Amazon and then we just put the balloons in. Really, really simple, but really effective. Then it came 
into making the balloon arch. So, as I said, the balloon pump is essential, however, it was a little bit of a shock the first time we used it. We watched quite a few YouTube tutorials on how to do it, and the first thing we learned is that you have to sort of squash the balloons down to make them round, and then they stick on better. As you can see here, this is me trying to figure out how to put the balloon arch together. Actually a lot easier than we thought it was going to be, and I think it only took us an hour to do this. We'd finished doing the second colour when we realised that the balloons were probably a bit too big because we couldn't fit them all into every single hole. So my tip for this is to make sure that the balloons are not blown up to their full size, as you do need them to be smaller to fit them all in. We learned that. Fortunately, before we finished the entire balloon arch, so this is the main body of the balloon arch done, and then the plan was that once we got to the hall, we would attach it to the wall and then stick the smaller balloons up, which we blew up at the same time as those bigger ones so that we could just stick them on with the glue dots included. Okay, so this is the food. Now it looked like we had a huge amount of food here for like the 40 people that were coming, but it actually got eaten in about 10 minutes. So I think I probably needed more. So as you can see, we've got cocktail sausages and sausage rolls. <laughs> we've got three different types of pizza. I didn't even see that, like that was gone before I even realised the food was available to people. So we've got pepperoni, chicken and four cheese. Then we've got mozzarella sticks, vegetable spring rolls. These were all from Asda. We've got some chicken bits and some mini scotch eggs. We also got platters from Sainsbury's. We got sandwich platters, fruit platters, and a salad platter because I didn't want to be stressing in the morning of the party making up sandwiches for 40 people. So we actually cheated a bit on that and got them from Sainsbury's ready made up and they all got eaten. So they must have been re really nice. Again, I don't know. I don't think I had a sandwich. The salad was good though. And we also got some cheese and onion rolls. Some little unicorn cakes, which I thought they were going to be a bit more colourful than they actually were, but they, the idea was that they were going to fit in with the theme. We've got a fun sized party mix with Milky Ways and stuff in. Then we also got some cheese straws, some pretzels, and some crisps. And Harry Bow, again, I didn't even see Harry Bow. No party rings because I like them and they fit them with the theme. I did actually get those and we got some few, a few drinks as well. And then the other bits and pieces are just like for cleaning up and for sticking the stuff up onto the walls in the hall. This was all done previously so things were made up and the days coming up to it and the food was obviously ordered in the days coming up to it and then cooked on the morning of the party. On the day of the party, everyone was given their tasks and Wyland and John's first task was to get the balloon arch attached to the wall and then finished. So we used some little suction hook things to stick it on and then you get wire in the little kits that we wrapped around the balloon arch and put onto the wall. This bit I think took longer than we thought it was going to and this probably took about 45 minutes to get it done. Once that was up on the wall we then started attaching 
some metallic balloons to the bottom just to sort of fill it out a bit more. And then after that, we filled in the little gaps with the small balloons that we'd previously blown up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed with how this turned out. Like we, we hadn't tried anything like this before, so, and it wasn't even that stressful either. So happy with that. And this thing stayed up for three weeks and then had to be popped because it was still going. So if you're ever wondering about when you need to make a balloon arch for a party, two or three days before is absolutely fine because it will keep going forever. Well, this one did anyway. And then while we were doing this, the others were getting everything else set up for us. So the soft play was set up by the company that we hired it from and everyone else was putting the tables up, putting the tablecloths on, getting the cake set up. Now the cake, I didn't attempt to make myself because I've never made a birthday cake and it probably would have been disgusting. So we've brought this one in. We also set up the backdrop that we used for Baby Bell's first birthday shoot so that we could get some photos in front of that with friends and family. And as you can see here, this was it once it was done. We've got that huge soft play there. We've got the balloon arch, we've got the cake, we've got the food and it just looks really, really good. I was really happy with how it turned out and Baby Bell had quite a good time, although I think she was overwhelmed by the amount of people that were there looking at her and talking to her, but she did have fun and I'm happy with our first attempt at a DIY birthday party. What's the matter? this video and found it useful if you did don't forget to leave us a like and a comment and hit that subscribe button it makes us really happy and it lets youtube know that the video is worth showing to other people we'll see you next time say bye are you gonna wave go wave wavey 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 yeah wave no Mwah.